Welcome back guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a uh, shisha, uh, hookah, whatever you guys wanna call it. Uh, we like to call it shisha as we're Middle Eastern. Uh, usually everybody calls it hookah, it's the easiest way to do. But i um, gonna give you guys a quick rundown on how to set up the head and set everything up and uh, give you all the pieces one by one. And maybe you guys can set up your own. So we're gonna start off by showing you guys um, the uh, hookah that we bought. We actually bought this one in, uh, in Aruba during our honeymoon. So this is the bowl and this uh, goes right inside there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna fill the water up. I already have a water line from how many times we've smoked this. But you wanna fill the water up maybe about an inch so that this pipe here goes about maybe about an inch, three centimeters into the water to help it um, work. So I'm gonna fill up this bottle now and then uh, we'll be right back. So now that we got the bowl all set up, tops in, everything's in, you can always add ice uh, to the water to make it a cooler look to it. Now I suggest everybody get one of these it's a burner, simple plug-in, plug it in, turn it on. And I'm gonna show you the type of charcoal we use. Cause um, we use the Cocoa Army, it's a coconut charcoal. I know a lot of places that you guys go to to smoke, probably gives you the uh, quick burning ones or the uh, instant lighting ones. I suggest that when you do go to these places, these hookah bars, that you, um, as for the coconut charcoal, and the reason why I say that is the uh, coconut charcoal doesn't give a bad taste. And uh, after me saying that, you guys are probably going to notice that once you guys start going back to bars and hookah places to smoke and whatnot. So I like to start off with three charcoals just to get the, the head going. I'm going to show you guys the type of head that we've been using. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more modern. Uh, as to uh, what it used to be, a lot more easier to, to handle as well. So we put it up, let that burn for a sec. Now, we use these heads. This is a silicone uh, rubber made. It does not burn, it flexes. It's a lot easier, it's a lot simple, simpler to pack the tobacco inside the head. I'm gonna show you guys that right now and uh, how to get it. Okay, so today's uh, flavor of choice, it will be the gum mint. I'm not gonna show, obviously, what type. Uh, you can leave your questions in the comments and I don't mind answering them. But we use gum mint. Uh, gum mint is actually probably one of the most famous flavors, the most used flavors, the more uh, customer's choice, as you can say, as it gives a nice uh, minty taste and um, actually tastes really good. So I usually just break it up by hand, you know, simple. I'm sure uh, a lot of you guys know what this is all about. Now this uh, flavor tobacco, you can get them with nicotine base or you can get them with no nicotine base, depending on which type of, um, what type of uh, company you go with. Um, I'm not gonna mention what type this is, so. I'm sure everybody knows already. So this thing comes really juicy, really wet. And what you wanna do is you kinda wanna suck all the juice out with the paper towel cause you don't want it to uh, burn really quick. Wash. So I take that, pat it. Give it a little pat, a little dry dry. Fold it up, play with it again. As you can see, some of the juice is already on the other side of the paper towel. And uh, I'll show you guys a quick and simple. I'm gonna show you guys something actually pretty cool that, that I bought recently that saves you the hassle of putting foil, tin foil on top of your, uh, of your shisha. Or sorry, of your, uh, of the head of the bowl, just so you don't gotta poke. So these are actually really good because you can actually pack it. 
the original, the older, and uh, the traditional, I must say. You can't really pack it because it'll just choke. As the holes are, there's a bunch of holes in the bottom. I'll show you the, uh, the head that I'm talking about. So this one, you can pack it because there's one big hole in the middle and everything will just transfer through. Now, as the traditional head, these are the tradi traditional heads. It's got like all the holes in the side. So if you pack it, it's not gonna work. Do not pack it. Make sure you're sprinkling, sprinkling in there on top and it'll work just fine. You'll get the airflow you want and anything else. Now, what I wanna show you guys is the traditional way of doing things is they used to take tin foil and put it on top with a toothpick and you poke all your holes. Now this one, I actually got this off of Amazon. Um, it's already got the holes for you. It's pretty much a tin foil. And um, put it on top, give it a little turn to lock in. And this is the cover. And you can control the smoke as to what level you want the uh, intensity of it and everything like that. So when the charcoal is ready, <laughs> put the charcoal inside and then we get smoking. Now, there's one thing I wanna mention. We have a thing, it's called a silencer. Now, if you're a regular shisha smoker, hookah smoker, I highly recommend buying one of these. You put it underneath the hose uh, the sorry the pipe of the uh, the top of the bowl so underneath here you put it inside there and it actually makes it more silent than the big gargle 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 uh, sound I can't even just said gargle 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 like that um, so if you guys get one of these it's a filter silencer I think that's what they're called I also got these off Amazon as well I can leave links in the bio for you guys and um, you guys can go ahead and, and get those and you will thank me later because it's so worth getting it I think it all came in one package. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the way it came. So I wanna give you guys a quick demonstration as to how this uh, the sound works with the filter. So this is without the filter. As you can see, it's pretty loud. It's, it does get a little annoying. And this is with the filter. As you can see, you can barely hear it, which is incredible. Obviously there's no smoke, the charcoal's not ready yet, but I'm just giving you a quick uh, rundown. Okay guys, we're back and the charcoal is ready. You don't want the charcoal to be black. You want it to look like this. Ooh. You want it to kind of look like that. That means it's ready to go. It does take a while, so be patient with it. Again, that's how you want it to look like. Throw them in there. I'm gonna start off with two because the wife likes it with two, and uh, she's the one who usually smokes it more than I do, so we'll do it the way she wants it. Now, what you also want to do is you want to be patient, leave it on there for a few minutes, let the charcoal burn, let it go, and then you guys can start doing what you guys got to do. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, if you have any questions, by all means, leave the comments down below and I will get back to as many as I can, as, as fast as I can. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Carlitos Way out. Peace.